Things are so depressing that I want to thank you because you come from Wisconsin, which is known for cheese and beer. Uh, yes, and, and a lot of other things. And a lot of other things. <laughs> Uh, but you were kind enough uh, to actually bring beer. And yes. while we're talking about this, I would much rather have a beer out. So can we bring it out? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, great. There we go. This is, uh, do you want to tell? Yeah, we don't have to pour it in a glass, right? Right. Okay, no. great. That's perfect. Oh. So uh, this is a, a famous beer? Yes, it Listen, is. Okay. Okay. Mm. That's a lot better. <laughs> that is a lot better. Uh, you have an interesting situation right now. Um, you have a, a re-election campaign coming up in the midterms. Uh, no candidate has had more outside money spent in order to defeat you than you have. And you don't actually have an opponent yet, correct? You well, have the primary hasn't happened The primaries yet, haven't so happened. They haven't so, nominated an opponent. So they, uh, basically, their problem is not uh, that they like the other person more than you. They just want to stop you. How I think do, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this is outside money uh, from, from billionaires. Uh, how do you even approach going into an election knowing that you have so much stacked up against you as far as uh, outside interests? Yeah, well... I guess you have to choose. This helps, to right? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> I guess you have to choose to sort of wear it as a badge of honor. Now, these donors, they have an agenda. Uh, they have uh, their special interests, and I don't think they like me. And whether it's you know big pharma that I'm fighting for, uh, making sure that they don't jack up the prices of uh, drugs that. Wisconsinites need to survive or insurance companies that are working with folks to try to get rid of coverage for people with pre-existing conditions or, you know, Wall Street hedge funds that enjoy their tax loopholes. But I don't think they like me much because I'm fighting for the people of Wisconsin and against them. I want to ask you about this. You, uh, you have started politics in your 20s. Uh, you were openly gay uh, for your first election, and now you were the first openly gay uh, senator elected yes. uh, to the United States. <laughs> Um, first woman, too, from first, Wisconsin. Yeah, first woman from Wisconsin, a lot of firsts. And yet you said that uh, that was not as much of a hurdle uh, for voters in your state as you thought it would be. Uh, is that true? Um, I think it is true. I think that uh, voters are looking for somebody who's in their corner, who's listening. Uh, listening is a key trait these days <laughs> that we don't uh, see enough. And, uh, and I think they're just looking for somebody who has their back and is fighting for them every day. Wisconsin's number one in cheese production. Almost a quarter of all the cheese in the country were um, America's dairy land. Um, we also have a huge manufacturing sector. So you know us for beer and brats and cheese, but you also know us for motorcycles and bicycles, and you know us for uh, ships. We make ships for the Navy. You know us for all sorts of things. And um, fighting for those things that identify us as Wisconsinites and uh, our work ethic and those cultural traditions, um, I think that's what's really important to voters in my state. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. It's just a real, <laughs> real pleasure to meet you. So, yeah, <laughs> well, we can shake, too. Yeah, we'll shake, too. <laughs> Senator Tammy Bob